y'all, this is Ria N2RJ here with an interesting question. So this one actually came out from my friend Tank Radio. Um, Frank, you could check out his YouTube cha channel, youtube.com, and you look for Tank Radio. And he is KG5AHJ, and he does some pretty good videos. I'm sure many of you know Frank, but um, some of you don't. So, you know, be sure to give him a shout out there. So um, he had on his live stream, he basically um, asked why there are, um, you know, lower side bend and upper side bend. Why we have where below certain bends you use lower side bend and on some other bands you use upper side bend. So generally the convention is, for those who don't know, anything on below 10 megahertz. So that includes the 40 meter band, the 80 meter band, and the 160 meter band. On voice sideband modes, you're using lower sideband. On the higher modes, higher bands, like for example, 20 meters, 17, 15, 12, and 10, you're using upper sideband. There are two exceptions to this. One of them is on 60 meters. So on 60 meters, you're only allowed to use upper sideband, and that is in the FCC rules. The reason for that is that the government uses this band and the government shares this band with us, or rather we share it on a secondary basis with them. So what happens is that they're on upper side band and you know they want to be able to hear us and we need to hear them. So we need to be on upper side band. And there are other restrictions such as channels and also power requirements in um, uh, effective radiated power. Okay. So once you have that out the way, the other limitation is that if you're using a mode such as FT8 or you're using um, slow scan TV or some of the digital mode, those are modulated, they're data modes. And of course the um, slow scan TV is a image mode. It's not a, it's not a data mode, it's not a digital mode, it's a it's an image mode. Those are modulated using upper sideband. So we're not worried about those. And we're not worried about 60 meters. We're talking about the core amateur bands of 40, 80, and 160, and the higher bands of 20, 17, 12, 10, and up. Why do we use lower and upper side bands? So it actually comes down to um, the best explanation I could find. So first of all, how do we get side bands? So what happens is that to produce side bands, you mix your audio, or you mix two signals. You mix your audio frequency with the with the carrier, and then so, for example, you might have a a 14.2 megahertz carrier, and then you mix that with a 2.4 kilohertz wide audio signal. So you get 14 plus 2 plus 2.4 kilohertz and 14.2 minus 2 kilohertz. So that's the lower side band and the upper side band. So what you do is we eliminate one of those, we suppress one of those, we remove it, and then we suppress the carrier. We take out the carrier as well too. And then once we do that, we end up with just one single sideband. Now, back in the old days, in like the 1950s, you know, what some people refer to as the the, the good old days, um, I wasn't around then, but um, there was a ham by the name of Anthony Vitale, uh, W2EWL, and he wrote an article in QST called Cheap and Easy SSB. So you just said music to radio amateurs' ears. Cheap and easy. Okay? I'm sure a lot of people's ears perked up and they were like, huh? Cheap and easy. Yes. So Tony Vitale, he gave um, the Ridgewood Amateur Radio Club in New Jersey, yes, a talk on single sideband. He brought um, a new exciter built on um, the BC458 chassis. And the BC458 was uh, a transmitter. And what he um, what he did was he he you know he basically gave a, a article on the the benefits of SSB, but what he did was he added a circuit. He said um, he would take a BC four five eight or an ARC five. Now an ARC five was an old military set, I believe, and it tunes five point three to seven megahertz. And you get these units for like four to eight dollars in surplus. Um, you get about a um, hundred watts peak with a thousand volt power supply. 
And then, um, so you have two different circuits. You have one for 14 megahertz and the other one for 14 or 3.9 megahertz. If you want only the, the 3.9 megahertz or the 14 megahertz operation, you can omit the unwanted circuit. So what he did was, um, he had, um, basically, he, he, he had the, the ARC-5, and the ARC-5 had a 5 megahertz VFO. So Vitaly's circuit mixed with a 9 megahertz signal with the 5 megahertz signal. And then you mix that with the audio content. So you get 9 plus 5 is 14, which is in the 20 meter band. But when you, um, you did that, you got the upper side band. Okay. So, um, you know, you get one side of the audio going up, but when you do the mixing again, you, you know, you could do the mixing on the lower side where you get nine minus five and you get four megahertz. So you would get approximately 20 meters and you get approximately 80 meters and the 80 meter portion has the lower side bands. So that, in a nutshell, is how we got upper and lower sidebands. Of course, um, the ARRL kind of like really wanted to push people again into single sideband because, you know, um, space on the band was crowded and they wanted to get people, you know, off of these wide, big honking AM signals and into smaller Donald Duck single sidebands. But um, they, you know, <laughs> they, they made a number of articles regarding SSB. And that kind of, um, this one pretty much sealed the deal. So this is one theory of why we have a lower side band below 9 megahertz and upper side band above 9 megahertz. is because of an old surplus transmitter. You mix in the, um, the audio signal and the oscillator and you basically remove the lower side band. So essentially... You get the upper side band, 9 plus 5, 14 plus the audio signal. And then the lower side band, you get 9 minus 5. And then, you know, you get the audio signal and you, then you reduce the upper side band. So that's how you get it. it. It could not be more simpler than that. It's not some, you know, old convention. That's just how it was. Uh, I was, this is pretty much a staple of ham radio lore. And um, it's pretty much why it is. So anyway, I'm Rhea and 2 rj and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you around. Peace in 73.